I think what we really need to start seeing is some action on the sponsors of this genocide. And Lindsey Graham in the Senate so is worried we, about this. Hopefully, together, we'll find a way to uh, rest our displeasure with the ICC. Because if they'll do this to Israel, we're next. This group tried to come after our soldiers. Yeah, you can clap all you want to. <laughs> they tried to come after our soldiers in Afghanistan, but reason prevailed. So at the end of the day here, what I hope to happen is that we level sanctions against the ICC for this outrage to not only help our friends in Israel, but protect ourselves over time. Mr. Secretary, your statement yesterday was excellent. The president's statement was excellent. Senator Schumer's statement on the floor was excellent about the outrage here. They have destroyed the notion of complementarity. They have misled people in the United States Senate about their intention, and they shall and will pay a price. Ms. Secretary, I appreciate what you've said. It is now time for us to act. And there's the Uniparty in action. Lindsey Graham praising his Democratic counterparts, praising Chuck Schumer, praising Anthony Blinken, who was testifying there, because they also are denouncing the International Criminal Court for daring to try to hold Israel to account very, very minimally for mass murder in Gaza. And again, the, the irony here of, so the Biden administration has been cooperating with the ICC, if not directing it uh, pretty much when it goes, when it comes to that case against Russia. So now they're going to be cooperating with the ICC when it comes to Russia, but then sanctioning it when it comes to holding Israel accountable for mass murder in Gaza. I mean, the, the contradiction is, is just so rich. And Lindsey Graham is, is visibly alarmed by what the ICC is doing and uh so is mike johnson who also issued a similar uh meltdown a similar outrage and also warned about how the u.s could be held accountable as as well america should punish the icc and put kareem khan back in his place and if the icc is allowed to threaten israel's leaders we know that america will be next there is a reason that we've never endorsed the international criminal court because it is a direct affront to our own sovereignty. We don't put any international body among, among or above uh, American sovereignty, and, and Israel does that, doesn't do that either. Uh, Congress is reviewing all of our options right now. We have some very aggressive uh, legislation that we're going to push as, um, as quickly as possible. Uh, it will impose sanctions. Uh, and if the ICC moves forward with its absurd warrant arrest or, or request, um, this will uh, this is going to be an even bigger international problem and, and and so mike johnson who is as fanatically pro likud as any republican leader has ever been is threatening sanctions on the icc this is something that actually the trump administration under mike pompeo christian zionist mike pompeo already applied to kareem khan's predecessor whose name isn't coming to me right now because she was investigating Israel for crimes in Gaza in 2014. Um, they pulled her and, 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 and U.S. troops were being investigated in Afghanistan, although the U.S. is not a party to the Rome statute. They pulled her visa to enter the U.S., and applied other sanctions to other ICC investigators. So this is something, this is not something new. It is something that exposes the U.S. and Israel's rogue nations. And I think what we're, what's new is the desperation and the desperate attempt, the bipartisan attempt to defend Netanyahu. Her name, which I know of now thanks to Google, was Fatou Bensouda. Bensouda, uh, right. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they... <laughs> They pulled her visa. She couldn't even visit the U.S. for daring to possibly investigate Israel. And But that line there that you highlighted of Mike Johnson saying that Kareem Khan needs to be put back in his place. It shows the you know, colonial racist view they have towards people like Kareem Khan, that their place is to investigate who we want to investigate, investigate African leaders, investigate designated adversaries like Putin. But if you go after us, if you go after you know, our crimes, then you have to be put back in your place. It's a very revealing comment. They really have to be Slavic to be white and get indicted. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just true. like a rule. Yeah, 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 that's true.